All right, welcome back. Ian Gordon here. And the la in the last video, we showed you how to create a landing page in ClickFunnels. Now, today what we're going to do is show you how to integrate your landing page with Aweber. Remember, Aweber is your autoresponder that collects all of the contact information that ClickFunnels uh, presents uh, in the form. Okay, so uh, what you see here on the screen, and I'm going to make it a little bigger, is the uh, form that we created the previous day. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to make some edits to this form so that we collect more than just the email address, but we also want a name and email address. Okay, so let's click edit page. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Um, it's going to take just a few simple steps. I, what I did was I clicked on the, um, the email field. And what ClickFunnels allows you to do is duplicate fields. Okay, so what we're going to do is clone or clone. Okay, I'm going to put my mouse over this field. And you see the button that says clone. So I'm going to click clone. Okay, and I'm going to change this field from email to name. Okay, so I'm going to click the settings button. Setting comes up, the input, I have the option to change the input type, and I'm going to change it to full name. Okay, placeholder text, it's going to say your full name here. Okay, we're going to take it off of required. Okay, the only thing that needs to be required is email. Okay. So we can click off and there we go. Now we have, now we're going to be collecting name and email address. Okay. Now we're going to save this. Um, cause we always want to save as we go. Okay. Now we're going to, um, <clears throat> click on the submit button. Okay. Uh, this is the button that advances the form so that once the, the client puts in their name and their email address, we want their, their information to be submitted to Aweber. Okay. So here, what we do is once we clicked on the button here, this menu showed up and we want to set the action. Okay. Make sure that when you set the action, it goes to submit order or submit form. Okay. So it's already checked. So we're good to go. Okay. So we're going to save. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave this screen and we're going to go over to Aweber. Okay. We're going to log into our Aweber account. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a list. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on manage lists, create a list. Okay, now um, if you have a company, you can put the company name. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put my own name, my own website. Um, when you're setting up Aweber, you're going to have to put in um, an email address, uh, sorry, a physical address because in order to avoid spam issues, um, your, your actual address has to be verified. Okay. So you will be, um, using your actual physical address, uh, in Aweber and you'll be setting this up, uh, when you first, uh, register with Aweber. Okay. <clears throat> what sender name and email address should appear with your emails? You probably want it to come from you and you want your email address to be listed as the sender email. You can always change it to something that is dedicated for your business, but for right now, I'm just gonna use my own address uh, for this demo. Click next step. Okay, what would you like to name your list? So I'm gonna name it um, landing page demo. And we're going to give it a brief description. This is a demo landing page email list. 
Now, if, say for example, you're offering an ebook to cookbooks, you can say this is a list for people who have downloaded my cookbook PDF and whatnot, just so that people know um, what they're going to receive and you can identify what this uh, list is for, okay? Click next step. Okay, the language is already set to English. Subject line, okay? Now, we can set a confirmation message in AWeber so that when people um, enter and send their email and name, um, there's a confirmation email, okay? So, um, we're not going to use the confirmation, but we're, we have to set it up um, in the beginning, okay? So, don't worry about it. We'll leave it as is. Um, we'll click Approve Message and Create List. Okay, so our list is created, okay? And we can see at the top where it says landing page demo. Well, it looks like I spelled it wrong. I said landing page demp, but that's okay. Landing page demo. And what we're gonna do is we're going to click list options, okay? And under list options is list settings. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see some of the basic information we've already entered. Okay, but there's one thing here that you should note. Notifications. Do you want to receive uh, a notification every time someone is added to your list? In the beginning, you may want to do this. Okay, um, so basically you just enter your name. So I'll put Mr. Gordon, and I'll put my personal email address here. Okay, and click Add. Okay, now every time someone um, is added or subscribes to the list, I will get a notification. If you want someone else to be notified, you can do that as well. Okay, save settings. Okay, once we do that, we're going to click personalize your list. Okay, here we have the option to add an email signature so that um, when people receive messages from us, there will be an email signature, for example. your strategic partner, okay, in quotes. And there's nothing else important right now, so I'll click Save Settings. Then go to, we'll go to Confirmation Message. Okay, right now Confirmation Message is set to On. We want that off, okay, so we'll click Off. Okay, and this is a confirmation that we want it off, so we say yes. Okay, so because there's no confirmation message, we don't need a confirmation success page. So we'll click Save Settings. Okay, now our list is created. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to integrate this list with the landing page we created in ClickFunnels. Okay. So the first place we're going to do go to is the next place we're going to go to is sign up forms. And click when you're integrating Aweber with ClickFunnels, you have to create a sign up form within Aweber to integrate with your ClickFunnels form. Okay? So we're going to click create your first sign up form and you may have created other forms, but it refers to creating your first sign up form for this list. Okay? So here's where we're going to design the form. <clears throat> okay, by default, name and email is already there. Okay, so we're good to go. We're going to go to the next step. I'm going to click Save Your Form. Go to step two. Okay, now this is going to be a very crucial part. Okay, let's first we're going to name the form. I'm going to say landing landing page demo form okay and uh, thank you page okay now the thank you page we have two options we can use the basic version that comes with Aweber okay and um, we could take a look and see what it looks like okay just all it says is thank you for subscribing okay 
Now, if you recall, yesterday we've already uh, created a thank you page. So what we want to do is we want to use custom page. Okay, custom page. Now, we want to enter the URL of that custom page. So what we're going to have to do is go back to um, ClickFunnels. <clears throat> we're going to exit from here and go to the thank you page that was created. Here in the second part of our funnel, it says thank you. If you can see it in uh, very faint, it says thank you. So we're going to click there. Okay, and here is the URL for the thank you page. Okay, remember the thank you page was like a little video message. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this URL. I'm going to highlight it, copy and paste. Okay, we're going to copy and then go back to Aweber. Okay. Okay. And we're going to save our form again. Now for the already subscribed page, we're just gonna we're not gonna change anything there. We're gonna save our form and go to step three. Okay. Now, like I said, in Aweber, you're gonna have to manually copy code in order to integrate your form, uh, your uh, your autoresponder with your ClickFunnels form. So what we're going to do next is click on I will install my form. Okay. Now what we want to do, there's two options because we got, there's code that we have to copy and paste into ClickFunnels. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're not going to use the Java snippet. We're going to use raw HTML. Okay. Don't be overwhelmed by the code. Okay. Just click raw HTML version. Okay. Now what you see is um, some computer code okay what we're gonna do first is we're going to click off on this okay and we're just going to copy um, all the code from where it says form and where it says uh, backslash form okay the script code we do not need I repeat all this stuff that says script okay we do not need okay so we're gonna copy everything between form the form um, what they call uh, form tabs okay we're gonna copy that okay and we're gonna go back to click funnels okay we're gonna go back to our opt-in form Edit page. Okay. Now, how are we going to integrate and use the code that we just copied? What we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, integrations. Okay. Now, right now, it's not connected. So, what we're going to do is we're going to se select integration. We're going to use HTML form. Okay. Select an integrator, integrate existing form. Okay, and it's referring to the existing form on the screen. Now we're going to paste our HTML code here. Okay, so we just click in the box and paste. Okay, or you can, you can right click, click paste, or just press Control V. Okay, now the next thing we do is we click the button that says parse and save form. Parse just refers to matching the fields on the form to the code um, that we just pasted. Okay, so where it says name, we're going to click the down arrow and match it to name. Email, click the down arrow, match it to email. And now you see that it says connected. Okay. So we are good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna double check that our when we click this the submit button, we can always change it to submit. That's a wording that people are used to seeing. Okay, 
we set the action we want it to submit the form so we're good to go okay so we are going to so we're finished with our integration we're going to click save and we're going to test the form okay so we're going to exit and in order to open up this form we're going to click this button right here we can either copy this url because this is the location of the form or we just click this button right here okay so we're going to add our name ian gordon okay um, we're going to use this email address here since I'm already since I'm already since it's already preloaded okay we're gonna click submit what should happen is it should go to the thank you page okay okay there we go and the video will pop up okay obviously this is not the video we would use we would use a video of us actually thanking um, uh, the client for entering their email address or we would just get rid of the video altogether but basically what happens is um, the form worked okay and a thank you message pops up and here we can put additional instructions but for now we're good okay now let's go to Aweber to see that the form actually worked and the information that was entered was sent okay so we're gonna click manage subscribers okay good and as you can see my full name my email address um, has been submitted and now we have just collected our first name and email address in our mailing list I'm going to click Ian and you can see um, more additional information the time that it was added um, the location the IP address and a whole bunch of other codes that we don't have to concern ourselves with right now but we have created our first landing page and created our first mailing list and we have integrated it integrated them together and this is a big success and you are on your way to creating your email list that will help you in your branding and making you uh, additional income. All right, more to come. See you on the other side.